Hello, um, it's me, DNC. I am coming in. It is April 17th. Um, it is 9.53. I am drinking coffee, 9.53 at night. And I'm drinking coffee because I have had a beautiful, motivating, inspirational day. Um, so I wanted to come and give you a quick spur of the moment. Um, some encouragement, um, give you some some drive and push because that's what I'm on right now is a drive and a push. Um, so first things first, um, my wonderful sis Beyonce dropped her Netflix Homecoming, her Netflix movie Homecoming. Just a recap of her, uh, what is now and forever will be called the Baychella uh, concert performance. Um, where she just kind of gives you some insights and background on everything that goes into putting on a production like that, everything that goes into getting your body physically and mentally ready, everything that goes into having the team and the peep the right people in the right places to get something like that done. Um, that was beautiful. I'm gonna do my best not to give you any spoilers because if you have not seen it yet, definitely needs to sit down and watch the two hours and 17 minutes of that in its entirety. Um, it's a beautiful thing. Um, it's beautiful to watch a black woman um, go strive, succeed, and then continue a legacy that was already laid in front of her and do it with such um, strength and pride that it gives me chill every time I, I watch it, I listen to it, I hear her talk about it. It's just such it's beauty when there's so much passion behind someone in their craft doing what they're what they know they were placed on this earth to do. It's just a beautiful, incredible thing. Uh, so definitely go check that out. Part two of my uh, day was going to go watch a screening of She Did That. Um, this is actually a movie that was aired initially at Essence last year. Um, it was produced by Miss Renee Bloom, Blunt. Um, and she is actually a PR consultant and also the creator of In Her Shoes blog, um, which is like a motivational black women's blog, similar to my Her Crisis blog. Um, and this movie, she did that, um, goes around and it basically takes you through a journey with other, how other black women or um, going along, owning, driving, strategizing, um, dedicating their lives to their business, being black women entrepreneurs. Um, some of the most interesting facts is that basically um, black women entrepreneurs have grown over 201% over the last 10 years. That is absolutely incredible and beautiful. Um, there's a lot that went on in the screen, and I definitely feel like if it's in your area, please go see it. Um, it, it has one of my favorite writers, uh, Lovey, Love, Lovey um, in it. Um, she's the writer of Awesomely Lovely, which is her blog, and then I'm Judging You, her book. Um, right now she's touring and, and doing some wonderful things, talking about her Nigerian um uh heritage and her background and it's just it's a beautiful thing but you know there's a lot of things that were shown in that that were encouraging it reminds me that the path that you know you're supposed to take will never be easy it will be ups and downs but what's the satisfaction out of it is knowing that you affect something and someone else um there's this there's one um, again i'm not trying to give it all i'm not trying to give all the spoilers but there was one piece of it where it talks about the investment side of these businesses uh black women entrepreneurs black businesses in general aren't getting the finances from banks they're going to to their life savings i think that says so much about the dedication that it takes to be an entrepreneur to know that you must make this work, you know? Um, 
there are a lot of us, and I'll put myself in that, where I do feel blessed that I do have a full time and fall back on that. But I'm understanding every single day that that full time is setting me up for something greater. And I must ensure that I don't use that as a crutch, but I use that as a lift and understand there is a time and place and one day that lift will need to shift to something totally different and may not even be used. And so um, financially, it's given me what I may need to do to put into my my business is my savings is helping me get the savings right so I can put it back in my business. Um, but what I'm really going to start focusing on it's pushing my product, my books. Um, there's, I'm, I'm still that shy girl. Like I dedicated my first book, Untraditional, to shy girls because I'm that shy girl. Um, it's very intimidating to think that I can go out in this world and do what every, whatever comes to my mind. The big dreams that I write about in my journal, um, the conversations, actually live the conversations and the ideas that I have with my girlfriends. That's kind of scary because you don't want to fail. And my message after everything that I've gone through today and everything that I've seen with um, Beyonce and then these wonderful women on these on this panel of she did it uh, and in the movie is that failure is a part of the process, but it is not truly a failure because you get back up. It is a lesson. And that's what we have to start going through life to realize is that there is no such thing failure. There is no such thing as a failure if you get back up. You know, there there is a section on there with um, uh, the founder of uh, um, Lip Bar. And it is incredible to know that she went on Shark Tank and they talked bad to the woman. And she had an amazing product and she made that work. That's what it's about. It's going to be people who are going to doubt you. It's going to be people who don't believe in you. But there only takes one person to move you forward. And that's you. Always remember that. I'm saying this like I'm understanding now that when I do these vlogs and I do my blogs and writing and all, this is me being accountable. I, I have to say these things out loud so I myself can believe it also. So I'm not just saying this for you. I'm saying this for myself, too. We have to understand that we're always going to be judged. And that does not matter in the long run of things, because being judged and making an impact are two different things. Uh, leaving a legacy is different from being judged. Being judged is just something that people do. Being impactful is something you create onto the next thing, onto the next person. A legacy is what you leave behind, what people look to, what people follow. That's what life's about, y'all, is creating a journey and living it and doing it in the way you're supposed to do it, doing it what you ordained what you were ordained and created to do. So I want to encourage y'all. I'm going to be up late tonight. I'll probably do several of these. So when you see the same shirt, I don't care. You're going to judge me anyway. So I might as well go ahead and do what I need to do. All right, y'all. Have a good one. Peace. <laughs>